Hi everyone. Now we will talk about how we can call API with the services in Angular. And one more thing guys. So here I am expecting that you have some basic idea about the Angular services. So if you don't have any idea about the Angular services then I will recommend you to watch our previous part. There I explained everything about services, how we can create them, why we need them, uh, why we use them, everything I explained, right? So here we will specifically focus on the calling API with the services, not on the basics about the services. Alright, so first we'll discuss what is API, then we will make a service, we will write some code to call API, then we have to do some configuration so that uh, we can uh, get the data from the API. After that we'll see how we can handle and use data that we will get from the API and at last we'll discuss some important interview questions related to the uh, API call and services. And this is the API that we will use in this part and this data whatever you can see that that data we will plot on the our Angular application. And this is the Angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for Angular job project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box and this API link also provided in the description box. Now let's move to the first question. What is API? Its full form is application programming interface. And see, we know that Angular or JavaScript cannot connect with the database because these are the client side technologies, right? Or uh, Angular is a client side technology and uh, JavaScript, you can say that client side scripting language, all right? And by calling the Angular is a technology because this is a framework of JavaScript. So you can say that this is a client side technology. So how we can connect data with the Angular or with the JS. So for that, first we have to make APIs in any backend programming language. Maybe you can create them in Java, Node, Python or uh, PHP, any programming language you can use. And then these APIs are basically integrated with the Angular, React or uh, Vue or even core uh, JS also, right? And one more thing, same API can connect with the any of the UI technology. Uh, either this is Angular, React, uh, or if you even uh, react native or for Android and uh, 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 Apple phones, right? The one API can be accessed in the any of the platform, any of the technology. So keep in mind that that means this API, this same API can uh, fetch by the mobile application also can fetch by the uh, desktop application, web application anywhere. Okay. Now, uh, let's create a service then we will see how we can call this API. So let's move to the code and here open terminal there and then let me just clear it out and then create a service ng g for generate s for service and service name. So let's say my service name is products. Yeah. And I want to create this product services inside a services folder. So let's make a folder name also. And when I hit enter, you will see that one more service is, one service is created there. And now let me create one more function inside this. Uh, and this function name may be, uh, let's say product list. Right. And if you want to call API inside this, what we need to do there, First, we have to import the HTTP client there. So let me put there HTTP client and we can make this instance private because we are not using it outside the class. So let's make it private. Now inside this, what you can do, you can first create a constant so that uh, you can put this URL inside that constant. So let me put a constant URL. Yeah, and then simply mention this dot HTTP dot API method. In APIs we have basically four or five methods get, post, put and uh, so on. So here we will use get method. Get is basically used to get the data from the, uh, you can say that any API. Alright. Okay. And uh, with the API we can put update and uh, you can say that delete also data. Uh, we can even save the data also. So get is specifically used when we are fetching or getting some data from the API. And then let's pass, pass the URL here like this. Okay, now what we need to do, we have to call this API wherever you want to call it. So let's go to the app.component.ts file and there uh, I will create again a constructor and in this constructor, uh, yeah, I will create a, again private instance and I'll put the name of this instance is product service and 
this will be the instance of product service like this now uh, let's create ng on init so this is a lifecycle method or lifecycle hook that will automatically call when your page is loaded so they are just simply put there this dot product service dot product list and then you have to use their subscribe so now uh, let me put their subscribe we are not getting the subscribe let me see why probably reason is we are not returning anything from here so let's try to return and then again try dot subscribe so what is the subscribe subscribe there see when we are calling any api then the api data is basically the async and to handle the async uh, angular internally use uh, observables and if you want to get data from observable then you have to subscribe the service right and subscribe will basically return a callback function like this and now you can console.log this data so will it work the answer is no it will not work why i let you know but first let's check the result here so here you can see that you get some weird error and mostly this is saying that null injection error no provider for http client so what is want to say that there is no provider or there is no module registered to call the uh, api or to handle the http client for that what you need to do we have to go in the app.config.ts and at last simply provide their provide http client and use it as a function like this now this error will go on and here you can see that we got the data like this perfect now we have to use this data so that what i'll do uh, you can close this file definitely and create a property there uh, let's say product data or something and the type of this is any for now in next part we'll see how we can define the type for uh, services uh, data or you can say api data but for now let's make it any only so that we can keep it simple and sorry guys we just need to do inside the yeah uh, app.component.ts and again the type of this data will be any now what you can do this dot product data equal to data dot here you can see that in data we are getting the products right this is the key or either you can check here this is the main key and then you can use this now after this if you move to the uh, html page right uh, there and you want to display the data there then what you need to do uh, first let's take a div then at the rate for loop i already told you about for loop in lots of videos so i'm not explaining it again and there uh, let's take a product of product data right this data because we are iterating the single one product from this product data one by one and then you can track it with the product dot id the next thing is like this use a uh, ul then li and in this li what you can simply do product dot title and how do i know that i have to use title there so here the title and after that you can see that we got the list of all the titles great so with the title let's say just you just want to show the uh, name also like this is the product name now this is in the bold uh, letters and similarly you want to show two three more things maybe price and price we know that there is a price key also uh, here it is here it is right so let's use price then maybe you want to use rating also then use rating and there rating now this is far better and you can see that there is one option of thumbnails also here you can see that so let's say let's try to use a thumbnail also there so use li and then image in the src simply use uh product dot thumbnail and let's see okay opening tag is terminated so i think i just need to close it also mm. what's wrong with it ah yeah so i just need to use their quotes now 
let's see see now we are getting the images of products also right so that's all how we can create a api if you have any doubt or any confusion related to this you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part and this is my gpay and donation and p gpay and paytm donation if you want to donate something thank you guys